Good morning, brothers and sisters. May we invite you to join us in our prayers today. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions for the needs and intentions of the Greenbelt Chapel community, for all of us here present and the members of our families, and also for those who have asked for our prayers. Let us continue praying for all the victims of war, violence, and natural calamities. Let us now meditate on the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, Grant that by the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thou, O Lord, will open my lips. And my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his good health, safety, and protection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus to heaven. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of the church and the world for wisdom and guidance for all church and government leaders, for their good governance and true conversion. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Let us offer this mystery for the complete healing and recovery of all who are sick and for those who care for them that they may find comfort and protection in their time of need. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. Let us offer this mystery for all our personal needs and intentions and the needs and intentions of all the members of our families, relatives, loved ones, and friends, and for all those who have asked for our prayers, especially the intentions offered by the Greenbelt Chapel community. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Let us offer this mystery for all the souls in purgatory, especially the souls of our beloved dead relatives and friends, and those who died with no one to pray for them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs. Mourning and weeping in this valley of tears, turn then, O most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. O Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, pray for us daily to the same Jesus, the Son of God, that we, being defended by the power of His grace and striving faithfully in life, may be crowned by Him at the hour of death. Amen. Divine Child Jesus, Santo Niño de Paz, bless and protect us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Padre Pio Pietro Alcina, Pray for us. All the angels and saints. Pray for us. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Novena to our mother, perpetual help. Please stand. Immaculate mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave. We pray for our country 
the land of our birth. We pray for all nations that peace be on earth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children, to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you, merciful Father. Forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Dear Mother, perpetual help from the cross. Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Please kneel uh, while you were on earth. Dear Mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your Son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of His will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the pure, poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, help. We choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. 
Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of you human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Loving Mother, pray for us. Holy, Mo Holy Mother, Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. 
Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the novena inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick especially. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Please all stand. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the joys that fade and flee. your arms and fall the treasure upon your knee mother of Christ mother of Christ I toss on a stormy sea oh leave your child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be and Mother of Christ Mother of Christ these do I ask of thee when the voyage is over stand on the shore and show him at last to me let us now pray the Regina Celli Queen of Heaven rejoice Alleluia for him whom you did marry to bear Alleluia has risen as he said Alleluia pray for us to God Alleluia Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. 
Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen.
Good afternoon, sisters and brothers in Christ. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. First, you're invited to join the praise and worship every Tuesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. With music, prayer, and thanksgiving, let us celebrate our faith and find hope in the Lord. Second, you're invited to the liturgical Bible study of Father Francis Gostilo, SDB, every Wednesday after the 6 p.m. Mass today. Third, in partnership with the Assumption College of Counselors and Sister Ami Hernandez of Verbum Dei Missionaries, Greenbelt Chapel is offering free counseling for individuals, couples, and families. You may schedule an appointment through the chapel office or call 7729-8173. I'll repeat, you may schedule an appointment through the chapel office or call 7729-8173. Fourth and last announcement, the book, It's All About Relationships by our chaplain, Father Dave Concepcion, is now available again at the chapel office. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Green Bell Chapel, Santo Nino de Paz. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is Wednesday, April the 10th, 2024, second week of Easter. Our presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. Christ is risen, shout, Hosanna, celebrate this day of days. Christ is risen, hush in wonder, all creation is amazed. In the desert, all surrounding, see a spreading tree has grown. Healing leaves of grace abounding, bring a taste of love unknown. Christ is risen, sing, Hosanna. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in an ending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, 
and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and thought, When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would have come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who take refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I, God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. 
For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come towards the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. If it is the only passage you can memorize, do it. It is the synthesis of the Holy Scripture, the love of God. Sa Tagalog, mas maganda yun. Gayun na lamang ang pagsinta ng Ama kung saan ipinagkalob niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak. Gayun na lamang. You cannot totally comprehend it. Ipinagkaloob. Sa English, gave. Pwedeng sabihin, ibinigay. Hindi po ba? Hindi lang naman ibinigay. Ipinagkaloob. Sa Tagalog, galing sa loob ko yan. Galing sa loob ko yan. Pag sinabing ibinigay, maraming dahilan. Po? Kasi marami sa atin namimigay dahil ayaw mo na yung hawak mo. Di po ba? Ano? Marami sa atin namimigay dahil gusto mo ng paltan. Maraming namimigay dahil tinatapon na. Hindi. When God gave His only begotten Son, it is out of love. Out of love. Merong nagkokomento, sabi, Father, mag-homily ka naman tungkol sa mga pasaway na magulang. Palagi mo nalang tinitira yung mga anak. Ano? Ganun palang pakiramdam pag nag-homily ako. Ano po? Palaging yung mga anak ang tinitira ko. Ano po? Hindi naman ho ganun. Ano po? Pero mas maraming pasaway na anak kumpara sa magulang. Hindi po ba? Ano? Ha? Pero sumagot pa rin, sabi, pero magulang ko pasaway. Ano po? Well, Ganon talaga. Kaya nga sinabi ng sinabi sa sa Biblia, kalingain mo ang iyong mga magulang lalong-lalo na sa kanilang pagtanda. Ano pa? Kalingain mo pag hindi na sila maayos ang isip. Tanggap ng Diyos na darating na araw, yung mga magulang hindi na maayos ang isip. Ano pa? Hindi mo na maintindihan bakit ang kinikilos ay dala ng kanilang karanasan. Dala na kayo mga pagkatakot. Kung naaalala po ninyo, hindi ko alam kung naikwento ko ito, nung kami po ay chaplain sa Philippine Heart Center, meron po kami pasyenteng pinag-aagawan. Pinag-aagawan namin. Tuwing umaga, pagkatas ng misa, dinadalhan namin ng communion lahat ng pasyente. Ano po? Pero itong isang pasyenteng ito, pinag-aagawan namin. Bakit lang pinag-aagawan? Palagi may pabaon pag alapas. Ano po? May chocolate, may kung ano-ano, ano po. Kaya lang, kaya lang, pagtsatsagaan mo ang kwento niya. Anong kwento niya? Araw-araw, kinukwento niya sa panahon ng hapon. Ano po? Sa panahon ng hapon. Memoryado ko na yung kwento niya. Ano po? Gusto ko na lang unahan. Ano po? Tapusin mo na. Ha? Ha? Pero minsan, minsan napansin ko po, habang siya nagkukwento, tumatayo siya, may sinisilip siya doon sa drawer. May sinisilip siya. Sabi ko, ano po yung sinisilip niyo, nanay? Sabi niya, nagtatago ako ng tinapay, totoy. Nagtatago ng tinapay. Sabi ko, ano tinapay? Tiningnan ko, pandisa lang naman. Ano po? Pero bakit ako nagtataka? Nasa sweet room sila. 
dalawang kwarto nila. Ganon sila kayaman. Pag titingnan niyo yung kwarto niya, yung isang kwarto para sa pamilya, yung isang kwarto para sa pasyente. At ang daming pagkain. Ang daming pagkain. Pero siya, sinisilip niya yung tinapay niya sa drawer. Sabi ko, nanay, ba't kaya nagtatago ng tinapay niya? Siyempre, ang sagot ay, nung panahon ng hapon, ano po, ha? sila da po ay napaalis, dala nila dalawang bayong, alam niyo po yung bayong, dalawang bayong na pera. At sila ay gutom na gutom at bumibili sila ng pandesal. At dala nila dalawang bayong, hindi sila pinagbilhan. Ano sabi niya sa akin? Kahit may pera ka, darating ang araw, hindi mo yan magagamit. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Mayaman ka na, pero nabubuhay ka sa iyong kahapon. Mayaman ka na, pero nabubuhay ka sa iyong kahapon. Ilan sa atin ang nabubuhay sa kahapon? Ilan sa atin natakot na takot tayo? Baka mawala ito, baka mamatay ito, baka makuha ito. Ilan sa atin ang takot na takot? Ang sagot lang doon ay, dahil hindi mo naintindihan kung gaano ka kamahal ng Diyos. If you fail to understand how much you are loved by God, then your life will be always be ruled by your past experiences where fear conquers your heart. Where fear conquers your heart. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, kanina lamang nagbasa ako ng email. Ano po? Kwento ng isang anak na kung saan ayaw niyang mag-asawa dahil sa pangit na karanasan ng kanyang ama. How much of our experiences are ruled by our fears? Ayaw ko mag-asawa, Father. Baka mapangasawa ko. Tulad lang rin ng tatay ko. Ano po? Na? Iniwan ng kanyang ina na kung saan ison, isinoli ng kabit nung may cancer na. Di ba? Well, hindi naman lahat ng, hindi naman lahat ng kwento. Ganon, di po ba? Na? Mayroong ganong kwento. Pero hindi naman lahat ng kwento. Ganon. Kaya nga, ano sinasabi ko? Pag ikaw ay umiibig, gamitin mo utak mo. Ano po? Hindi pwede puro pag-ibig. Ha? Gamitin mo yung utak. Ano? Pag minsan kasi yung mga kabataan, nakakalimutan mag-isip eh. Nakakita lang ng pogi, nakakalimutan na mag-isip. Ano po? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Ha? Pag tinatanong ko, eh, ba'no nagustuhan mo yan? Sexy, Father. Ano ka? Pagdating ng araw, tataba yan. Ano po? Mabait, Father. Susungit yan. Ano po? Father, maganda. Papangit yan. Kukulubot ang mukha niyan. Sabi ng si Father naman, basag trip. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Ang pag-ibig ay hindi nakabatay sa panlabas. If we are loved because of the things we can do for God, then that is not love. Please listen. If we are loved because of the things we can do for God, that is not love. We call it merit. We call it compensation. We are love in the time we are sinful. Take note of that. We are love in the time we are sinful. Hindi humihingi ng kapalit. Ano lang sinasabi sa Ebanghelyo? Naway ikaw ay manampalataya that you may believe that you may believe. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, there is no assurance that if you believe in God, life will be pleasant. There is no assurance that if you believe in God, life will be pleasant. The only assurance is eternal life. Eternal life. Kaya nga, nung inuutusan ako ng aking yumang spiritual director na ayaw na ayaw ko ano ano sabi niya sa akin ikaw ay ilalagay sa seminaryo ha 
isang taot kalahati pa lang akong pari. Hindi pa ako nag enjoy sa parokya. Ha? Ilalagay ka sa seminaryo. Ano sabi ko? Father Ben, pag nilagay niyo ako talaga sa seminaryo, mamamatay ako. Mamamatay ako. Simple lang ang sagot ng butihing pari. Ano sabi niya sa akin? Huwag kang magalala. Ipalilibing kita. Ganun lang yun. Di ba ba? Na? My dear friends, again, how many among us live in the past? Second, perhaps, is how many among us who live in the present without our hearts? Ngayon ka nga nabubuhay, pero ang puso mo naman wala. Di po ba, na? Kaya ang ginagawa mo, bara-bara. Bara-bara. Ilan sa inyo napapagalitan ng lola ninyo dahil ang bilis niyong kumain? Di pa ba? Ilang beses ako napapalo ng lola namin kasi ang bilis kong kumain. Ha? Bakit daw masama yung kumakain ka na mabilis? Walang paggalang sa nagluto. Di pa ba, na? Pag mabilis kang kumain, wala kang galang sa nagluto. Dapat ninanam na mo. Kaya pag nakatingin ang lola namin, tagal ko nakangoya. Pag hindi, bilisan. Ano po? Maglalaro pa eh. Di ba? How many among us again do things where our hearts is not with it? Dalawang bagay sa araw na ito. Ang mga taong nabubuhay sa kahapon, ang mga taong walang puso ngayon. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, only those who understand how much they are loved is capable of loving. Kaya ka hindi marunong magmahal, hindi mo naintindihan kung gaano ka kamahal. Amen. Let us bring to God our prayers and petitions. With confidence, we bring our cares and concerns before God the Father, who loved the world so much that He gave His only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in Him may not be lost but may have eternal life. And every petition that a response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the church may always be a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may live in such a manner that the love of God may shine forth in all our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the love of God may bring peace into our hearts and harmony in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the care and attention shown by their family or friends, the sick and those who suffer may realize that they are loved by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the beloved dead may all share in the glory of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us also bring to God our own personal prayers and petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our loving Father, look with love on all your children and guide us safely in our pilgrim journey. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, 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 ang ihando. Alleluia, Alleluia, 
Alleluia, i hando. Alleluia, 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 i hando. Alleluia, 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 i hando. Nang bayang tinubos ng Dios. Sa lahat sabihin lubos, tayo'y sa dilim tinubos. Nang sa ilang niya'y umabot, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia ang ihandog. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia ang ihando. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation always at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of Bible, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord, if God has given His only begotten Son, is there anything God not capable of giving you? Ask. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio, Petrochina, and all the saints of Lisha throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the only begotten Son of the Father, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it by rows. Please follow the guidance of our ashers. Also, please consume the ho sacred host immediately after receiving them in front of the minister. At 
ating sundin, ating dinggin, ating ipagmalaki. Na si Jesus ay ating Diyos, ang tunay na kaligtasan. Magalak pagkat siya'y nabuhay Tinubos ang sanlibutan Awitan natin ng Alleluia Ipamahagi ang kaligtasan Nagdiriwang sa langit Mga anghel na banal At sa lupa'y manalangin At magpuri sa ama Ipinangakong kaligtasan Ay narito na Sa pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay ating nadama. Ating sundin, ating dinggin, ating Malaki at tanggapin biyaya ng Dios, pangako niyang kaligtasan, magala sa pagkabuhay ni Jesus na kanya. Anak, awitan natin ng Alleluia, ipamahagi ang kaligtasan. Nagdiriwang sa lag, mga anghel na banal, at sa lupa'y manalangin At magpuri sa Ama Ipinangakong kaligtasan Ay narito na Sa pagkabuhay ni Jesus Ay ating nadama Please all kneel for the prayer of St. Padre P. of Petrolchina Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have your presence so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptation, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. 
Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yung salitang noong panahon ng hapon, pinalta na yan. Ano na sinasabi ngayon? Noong pandemic. Noong pandemic, Father. Yan naman ang kwento ngayon. Ano po? Teresa of Avila have said this, Never limit God by your own limitations. Never limit God by your own limitations. Because the love of God is greater than your sins. Do not forget that. If God has given His only begotten Son, is there anything God not capable of giving you? Nothing. You only need to insist. And look at the first reading. Whatever, whatever imprison you today, whatever imprison you today, someday God will open your cell. Whatever imprison you today, bad memories, bad experiences, bad, whatever bad, someday will open, God will open the cell or the gates of your cell so that you will believe in freedom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon. Alleluia. Magsiawit sa Panginoon. Puri. Ang kanyang pangalan Ipayag, ipayag Ang dulot niyang kaligtasan Magsiawit kayo sa Panginoon Alleluia Magsiawit sa Panginoon Thank you, sisters and brothers, for coming to celebrate the Mass with us. May you all...